Uh, Jose, um, today we're getting word that Canelo Alvarez is going to fight Caleb Plant probably November 6th in Las Vegas. This is a huge event for you, you know, that's connected to your son, David Benavides. What's the update on when David will return to the ring, first of all? I thank God, you know, first of all, I want to thank everybody for all the comments uh, that were worried about David. He's 100% good. Uh, he tested negative yesterday. Uh, he's flying back now. He was in quarantine. He's flying back to uh, Seattle uh, with my grandkid. Uh, and um, uh, he's super excited to see his son and uh, uh, everything's going well. Uh, we hope after uh, this fight, Pacquiao versus Ugas, we sit down with uh, our promotion company uh, next week and uh, we're gonna uh, figure it out. I, I, we wanna fight in Arizona, so I'm thinking November, uh, we go back to Arizona and keep the same plan that we have fight it in there. And uh, we're super excited and I'm super happy to know that David's 100% good. So there's a possibility perhaps that you could go Canelo plant followed by David Benavides on back-to-back -back weekends, something like that. Uh, 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 we're in the same month. Elise. Yeah, no, I, I don't really worry about that. You know, uh, if the, the times are good, that would be great. Uh, but I'm excited. Hopefully it could happen. You know, that's a big card, Canelo against uh, uh, Caleb Plant. That's an exciting fight. Uh, that's the fight that we want to see. One of them is going to leave with all those belts, and uh, uh, it's going to be great. It has to be encouraging to you because now we've got a, a, a negotiation that was successful between premier boxing champions who represents your son David and Canelo Alvarez. I mean, Canelo, if he defeats Caleb Plant, could perhaps work again with, with PBC uh, with a fight against your son. Exactly. You know, I, I think we're in a, bit, a good position uh, right now, even though if Canelo would, would if he wouldn't take the fight with uh, Caleb, that was an opportunity for us to also to fight Caleb Plant. But I think opportunities will come. Up. Uh, if he beats uh, Caleb, who's there to fight? Charlo or yeah. David? You know, I mean, so I, I don't see why not. Those are the fights that a lot of people want to see already, and and I think it's going to happen. We're getting there closer and closer. Uh, my fight with uh, Uskategui, uh, with David Benavides, uh, was to show the people something that nobody has ever done, stop uh, Uskategui, and that was the plan to stop him, and that's still the plan. Hopefully, uh, we still fight him uh, and look spectacular in order to get to those bigger fights. Absolutely. Um, you would, do, you have, do you have the expectation in your mind that you will get a Canelo fight in 2022, given what is happening right now? Uh, no, no, definitely. I, I don't doubt that. Uh, uh, I think we are going to get that fight uh, sooner or later. We just got to stay patient, keep working hard, stay focused, and stay disciplined. That fight would definitely come, you know, because at the end of the day, Canelo's going to run out of fighters. He's the, to me, he's the, the best pound for pound right now. And, uh, I mean, he has to challenge these, these fighters, you know, and he has to fight David in order for him to go to another division or 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 keep at 168 you know you can't avoid it forever yeah and even though if he goes to 175 we might be end up in 175 if he didn't fight him at 168 <laughs> what excuses he gonna have at 175 david feels very comfortable at 168 right now and we're not planning to move at 175 but who knows you know he's only 24 years old uh, and the body's responding well, and he feels comfortable at 168. I personally don't think that Canelo is ducking anyone, and I don't think he's ducking David Benavides, but I do believe that Canelo David Benavides is the best fight possible yeah. for Canelo. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, won't, I wouldn't call it ducking, you know, but it's a business right now, you know. Uh, Canelo and his whole team, they said it before, and, you know, they feel that David would bring them problems. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, they want to make sure they have a better opportunity of beating people in an easier way, I think, and a guarantee a win. With David, there's no guarantee that, you know, it's a it's a dangerous fight, and I don't think no fighter is afraid to fight anybody, but at the end of the day, they're in a position right now where it's more about business and uh, keeping that uh, those belts and, and, and his, uh, his freak of winning right now. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think it's gonna have to happen. Great, thank you so much, Jose. Thank you. Thank you.